Hey guys, this is your boy Rusian with BND. Uh, I know you're probably wondering what I am I doing in the streets during the quarantine. And also, where the hell have I been the last two months? So, a couple of uh, reasons why I've been out of YouTube for a little while is mainly, I don't know if you guys know, but I'm a disabled veteran. And uh, I kind of bust my knee really bad uh, two months ago. I was playing around, my knee haven't bothered me as much as it usually does. So, I kind of forgot it was really messed up and uh, yeah, I ended up bust that. So, but I'm back now. Uh, I, I actually got a little bit better. My knee is still a little swollen. But what happened is, as soon as I was going to go back into make my videos, the virus struck and we got into quarantine. And I'll be honest, when you're locked into the house and you can't really get out at all, you really don't want to do anything. So I spent the last few, the last week and a half pretty much just laying in bed, doing nothing. Uh, and then I realized one thing. I ran out of movies to watch. I ran out of series to watch. And even YouTube kind of don't have any more content for me. And I realized I'm not the only one going through that so yep I'm going back to make videos because you know that's what I love to do okay so first of all I'd like to apologize you got uh, to you guys uh, I'm getting a lot of news today in the morning I checked the numbers we have about 622,000 cases around the world and that's not counting with China and Iran that have stopped um, reporting their numbers so the number is probably much higher i am pretty much stuck in brazil now no choice to go back to the united states at least for a while so i'll make it do uh, i'm not unhappy here don't take me wrong it's uh but you know it's it's i think when you don't have a choice it kind of sucks a little bit but yeah uh the town is actually more packed than it should be, to be honest. Uh, in Brazil, all businesses are closed, besides for places like pharmacies, uh, grocery stores, things like that. So, I, I guess because of today being Saturday, a lot of people are out shopping. Uh, hopefully, they just shop and go back home. That's what I actually came in here to do. I came to, I actually ran out of beer and cigarettes, and trust me, during the quarantine, that's pretty much your mango thing to do. Now, cigarettes, it's actually funny because a couple of days ago, well, actually a week ago when I bought last time, I had to buy from the back of a truck because, well, those places can't be open, so the guys just loaded uh, the store that sells cigarettes, sorry, the store that sells cigarettes just load their cars with uh, cigarette cartons and they're selling from the car. Uh, what is kind of weird, looks like, you know, we're back in the, back the days where you can't buy alcohol, you gotta give like the special knock at the door, say a password and they let you in. It, it's kind of what it's turned to be right now. But it's okay, uh, we need to kind of stay home right now to try to stop that virus because the more people abuse, the more case gonna be, the longer that thing gonna take. So, just want to let you guys know I'm back, um, or I will be back. And thanks you guys for sticking with the channel, okay? Um, I may have a little bit more to say before I go back home. Just let you guys know how things are going, but uh, yeah, I'll see you guys soon. All right, guys, so almost done with stuff. I'm having some problems to actually find the beer I enjoy. So I'm still having to uh, go around a little bit. Um, and I understand, don't take me wrong. A lot of places are not receiving those things because 
honestly they're not essential um, just make it easier to you know stay home since all bars are closed restaurants and stuff like that so yeah I'll take a little look to see if I can still find if I don't I'm just heading back home but I'll let you guys know all right guys I have to say something really quick uh, so first of all let me tell you all don't panic I know the situation is bad but you guys cannot panic about what's going on in the world okay uh, one thing and it I, I just realized not the first time I heard that some people are talking about the Antichrist coming back and those are one of the signs of all that stuff <sighs> okay I get it I, I have nothing against religion um, but the only thing I have to say is guys kind of calm down uh, a virus like this it's something that been happening in the world for millions of years usually every hundred years or less we have something going on like that yes it's horrible uh, a few people alive today remember the last one that was the Spanish flu but look it's still no reason for people to start think that's the end of the days or anything like that okay I just felt I had to come back since I just heard that stuff again and actually let you guys know don't panic that you know words of the late Douglas Adams if necessary get a towel put it around your neck and stick your thumb maybe get picked up <laughs> 